Hello again, everybody. I'm Scott Casper. It's time to take a look at what's trending this week right here on Takedown. We begin the show on somewhat of a somber note. Four months into a prescription drug scandal that shocked the college wrestling world, the University of Minnesota has fired Hall of Fame head coach Jay Robinson. Robinson was first placed on administrative leave in June after allegations that gopher wrestlers were using and selling the prescription drug Xanax. In an internal investigation, it found that Robinson had in fact reported the allegations and implemented a testing program, but was terminated for what Athletic Director Mark Coyle described as multiple acts of misconduct. Well, the decision ends a 30-year dynasty that saw Minnesota win three national titles and hundreds of individual honors both on and off the mat. You know, based on the university's investigation and through my own conversations with Coach Robinson, I've decided to terminate his contract with the University of Minnesota effective immediately. I'm terminating Coach Robinson's contract because he was not forthcoming with his superiors when reporting his suspicions about selling and abusing prescription medication. While he did report drug suspicions, he chose not to share many other important details about what he knew. Furthermore, he did not fully cooperate with our investigation into the matter. He did not meet with us for interviews promptly and when he did, he did not answer some of our most critical questions. As I've said from the beginning of this investigation, I have a great deal of respect for Coach Robinson and what he's accomplished during his 30 years at the University of Minnesota. That, cannot, that respect cannot excuse his conduct in this instance. Brandon Egham, who has been serving as our acting head coach during the past several weeks, will be our wrestling program's interim head coach for this year. You know, based on the University of Minnesota police report and the Office of General Counsel and their investigation, you know, when they were made aware of the allegation, uh, you know, they acted in the best manner of the university. But the problem is he did not share all the information he had. Uh, we, we've had um, our Office of Student Conduct and Acting to Maturity is visiting with our wrestlers now. I've not, been, I've not been part of those conversations, but they have been meeting with those people on campus. Well, our wrestlers will go through our university uh, process here, and, and because of privacy laws, I can't get into the specifics of that. But again, you know, we want to make sure people are honest and accountable. You know, I've been very in, impressed with, with Brandon and Luke during this transitional period, and, and obviously we'll give them a full evaluation, uh, but we want to get our program. We expect all of our programs to compete at a high level, and, and we expect the same from wrestling. Well, despite the allegations, most in wrestling, myself included, have expressed unwavering support for Robinson, who will always be remembered for his integrity, his character, and dedication to young men. J. Rob's story is not about a selfish cover-up, but more of a coach doing what was best for his athletes, regardless of personal cost. You can read the entire report from the Minnesota Athletic Department, along with the response letter from Robinson at intermatwrestle.com. We, of course, will continue to cover the story as more news becomes available. Wrestling fans, we invite you to stay tuned. You're watching Takedown. Thanks to Yellow Blue Ecotech. We'll be back. Right now, get any large original or flatbread Supreme Pizza for only $13.99. Casey's, famous for pizza. At Cookies, sauces and seasonings are business, but food is our passion. Our secret ingredient is Cookies Flavor Enhancer and All-Purpose Seasoning. It makes pretty much everything taste better. You can use it on meats and in marinades, veggies and seafood. Try it on pasta and even popcorn. Pick up a bottle at your local grocer and enhance the flavor of your favorite foods. Cookies For more ideas and recipes, visit cookiesbbq.com. Cookies is the one. for generations. No amount of bravery and conviction could end the infected, unyielding rage. And with every battle, the evil grew, changed, evolved. 
The warriors needed nothing short of a miracle to stop the infection, and a miracle they received. Your body is at war against skin infections and diseases each time you step onto the mat. Protect yourself against the invasion. Defend so defend what you have built. Well, from 197-pound national champ to Olympic bronze medalist, Jaden Cox has done it all over the last six months, but the Missouri senior is still far from satisfied. The Missouri Network's Ben Arnett recently sat down with Jaden to talk about life after the Olympics and his return to college wrestling. A question I'm sure you've been asked many times in the last couple of weeks is when, when it was over and all, all of the hullabaloo at the end of the match was, was decided and you were the bronze medalist, uh, what was that feeling like when it hit you? It was awesome. Uh, it's, I don't know if I could say that it was what I expected because uh, I don't really know, I didn't really know what to expect. But uh, I do know that uh, I was overwhelmed with, uh, with joy, with pride. Um, I knew that I wanted, I wanted to go share it with my family and I wanted to share it with everybody else. And uh, no, it, was just, it was just a remarkable feeling to know that I had uh, gotten to the podium. We all grow up with the Olympics and, and seeing so many iconic images from, from over the years. Is there anything you wanted to do if you meddled that, that you got to do, whether it was on the, the podium or in the moments after the match or anything that you, you pictured yourself doing that you got to do? I got to hold the flag, you know, I got to wave it around. Um, I think that was the biggest thing. Uh, I got to, uh, you know, I got to carry basically, you know, the, the symbol for my country um, in my hands, on my shoulders. And, and that was a pretty awesome experience just to, to get to do that in, uh, in victory. What's it been like since you got home? Um, it's been busy since I've gotten home. Busy, but uh, lots of fun. Um, I've been trying my best, you know, I've gotten to experience something I've been blessed to be able to experience something that a lot of people may never get to, um, you know, winning a medal, let alone going to the Olympics. So I really try and share that with everyone, um, you know, so I'm really trying to share um, my experience and share um, what I've accomplished with everyone. Um, not so much for to show my face, but necessarily more so that, so that other people can have at least a little bit of a, of a glimpse or a taste of what it, what it feels like, you know. Um, um, and what it's like. So I, I hope that I can share that with everyone. You are so very outgoing and I got to experience that last week. My daughter and I were just walking through and I was going to leave you alone and next thing you know you're, you're wanting to see her <laughs> and, and everything. And where does that come from for, for you to, to be so outgoing and to want to share all this so much? One, it comes from uh, understanding that my, my path and my journey is not one walked alone and nobody's is ever. Uh, so understanding that the interactions that you have with people um, impact their lives and also understanding that how they interact with you impacts yours as well. Amid all of this, I mean, I don't, I don't know if everybody realizes that classes here at Mizzou started like the Monday after you won the bronze medal, the day after the closing ceremony. Right. So you, I mean, going back to last spring, you, you won a national championship, you went right into qualifying. Have you had a moment to to breathe and, and take stock, or have you just gone right into the semester? Well, I mean, I already had the chance to breathe. I experienced it and I enjoyed it. And, uh, you know, I had a couple of days where I was traveling. And then, you know, uh, I'm breathing right now as it is, you know, I'm not wrestling right now. I get a whole month off. You know, I, I, I won't ever lose the memory of what happened, but I do need to move on from what happened. And I believe I've already done so um, because now, you know, I have to take the mentality I take on the mat and put it in the classroom. This is a team that seems like it is built to be one of the best in the country. And what are your uh, main points of emphasis being a senior and having this team that collectively has put in so much work and has so much potential as you start your season? What are those main points of emphasis for you? Well, I think uh, a couple of my, my main points, for, for, especially for the team, um, is that each day you come in, you have to have purpose. You have to come in and practice with a purpose, you, whether it be, you know, um, you know, I'm going to get better at this, or I'm going to do this, or I'm going to get better at this. Have a purpose behind it and attack what you're doing. I honestly think from a team aspect, we don't need to focus on anything as far as a MAC conference championship or going undefeated in duels or anything like that. Those are things we've already done. We've accomplished it. All right, we've reached those heights. It's time for us to reach a new height, and that's an NCAA championship. That's our only focus. Forget everything else. 
you know, I'd give up, I'd give up a conference title to win an NCAA title any day, and I think anybody would. What do you think are going to be the differences between, you know, Jaden Cox, the junior, and, and Jaden Cox, the, the senior? I'm trying, well, the areas I'm trying to grow in is, is more dominance. That's really where I'm trying to grow. Um, I think last year was a big confidence boost for me um, as far as especially coming off that sophomore season. But I think this year is just coming off more dominance, um, more pressure, and, and being, being a, a wrestler that no one's seen before um, as far as, you know, coming out and being the aggressor and being the guy that you just can't hang with. You know, I, t I don't take anyone um, lightly which is why I have to train twice as hard to become what I want to become because I have to prepare so hard for these guys. And I think with the summer I've had and the in the in the uh, in the uh, I don't know the uh, past achievements I've had that it puts a target on my back. Um, but you know it feels really good to have that target on my back because you know it it's just another thing to drive me and, and push me. Speaking of, I mean it seems a long way away, but is Tokyo 2020 on your radar? I would say yes for now, but four years is a long time. For things to change and minds to change and everything, um, so I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna say yes with a grain of salt. Um, I I, I uh, love wrestling. I love what I'm doing right now. Um, but like I said, you know, what, whatever I decide to do, whatever I can fully 100% put my heart behind is what I'll do. And if I can't fully put my 100% put my heart behind wrestling in uh, Tokyo 2020, then I won't. But if I can, then I will. Um, and that goes as for anything else in life. If whatever I choose or decide to do, I will do it to the best of my ability. That's how I work. Special thanks to our buddy Ben Arnett and the Missouri Network. You can, of course, find more great features from the Tigers Athletic Department at the address you see on your screen. Well, the Oklahoma Sooners have a brand new head coach. Lou Rizzelli is live right after the break. You're watching Takedown. Thanks to Casey's General Store. Homemade crust, fresh meats and vegetables, 100% real mozzarella. There ain't nothing like the smell of a homemade pizza when it comes out of the oven. Of course, those pine tree air fresheners smell pretty darn good too. Casey's, famous for pizza. Introducing your favorite dip on a pizza. Pick up the all new spinach artichoke chicken pizza today. Yellow Blue wants to show you global energy demands are expanding at an alarming rate. Power grids in the U.S. are aging while coal plants continue to close at record rates. Utility rates are at an all-time high and there's no end in sight. If this concerns you, call Yellow Blue, delivering products and services that are not only green but cost-effective. You can be independent, safe, and secure. We'll show you how at yellowbluetech.com. Welcome back. Our Nike Hot Seat special guest today, head wrestling coach at the University of Oklahoma, Lou Roselli joins us. Coach, welcome to the show. How are you? I'm doing great, Scott. How are you? I'm, I'm excited. Let's talk about how it all went down. How did it happen, first and foremost? Well, I think I got a call um, while I was in Rio, and, um, you know, they called me to see if I had an interest, and, uh, of course, I did. And maybe spoke one more time while I was in Rio. And then when I got home, they asked if I could come on in and visit. 
certainly did. And it was all, it was all a quick turnaround. So, you know, um, then on Sunday, obviously they, they you know, they, they gave me a ring and, and selected me. So, you know, Joe Castiglione gave me a ring and, and um, here we are, you know, in a position where we're in a very storied program. I'm excited to be here. And, you know, we have, we, they had some other good candidates and, you know, we're just going to be going forward and I'm trying to lock down some assistant coaches and moving forward in the job. Lou Roselli, our guest. Lou, when you think about a program like this, surely there are a lot of candidates that are lining up wanting the job. You've put in your time as an athlete. You put in your time as a coach. Your last stop, Ohio State. I mean, what you did with uh, Ohio State as an associate head coach especially was nothing short of phenomenal. This is, uh, this is a building process. Apparently you get it. Can you talk about your time at Ohio State with Tom Ryan? Well, it was, it was really a good reunion, you know, a good mix of people, you know, that made Ohio State excellent. It was never one guy, and I think everyone that, that's been around the program understands that. You know, I mean, we all have different assets for the program, and I think, you know, Tom has his, the things he's really good at, and I have the things I am, and Jay Jaggers, you know, and, and company did everything in their power, and Ross Thatcher and the people that really put time into the program, you know, had their role, and I think everyone did it well. And I think we all understood each other's role. And I think the, the combination of that and being a team and really makes a big difference in how you operate in the program. You know, it's never one person's call and you try to get people's opinions and try to make the best decisions you can. And, you know, and, um, and that's really how, you know, you know, I'd like to run things here, making sure that, you know, we, it, as a group, one person doesn't make, make it work. You got to have a team of people that do that. So Ohio State has that. They have an Olympic program that's outstanding. Um, it threw a lot of the, some of the best kids, the Kyle Snyders and the Nate Tomasellos and Logan Stevers of the world to the program. Um, I'm just happy that, you know, as a whole, we got to deliver and make the people that we wanted to, you know, that came to Ohio State awesome. And that's really our goal, you know, is to live up to what we promised them. Assistant, uh, o, excuse me, OU Vice President and Director of Athletics, Joe Castiglione, said that um, not only do you have extensive collegiate coaching experience, but you have a history of significant Olympic involvement, uh, which is so important in today's recruiting world. Uh, where do you see OU as you know as you take over the program? As far as rec recruiting goes, is there any relevant holes that need to be filled right away outside of your coaching staff? I'm talking about athletes, and if there are, how do you address those needs? Well, that's certainly the recruiting portion is a big part of what we do, um, and our Olympic program you know, uh, facilitates a lot of that. It may, you know, trying to get the right, um, RTC athletes that, you know, that, that have the ability to have the work behind them. That's, what's going to draw a lot of the our, our recruiting needs, you know, um, right now we're, you know, we're just on a full search for the people that, you know, my philosophy is going to be pretty simple on it. You know, I want a guy that wants to be an Olympic athlete. who wants to get a great education who, you know, wants to put the time into that. and wants to work hard at pursuing that. And hopefully their NCAA title will be a byproduct of that when, on their way to the Olympic Games. So it's kind of like a one-stop shop with a great education, you know, um, trying to be an Olympic athlete, you know, and trying to be a successful college wrestler. So if we can, if we can integrate that into the program right away, then I think, you know, we'll grow faster, you know. And so, you know, we're, we're really just trying to make sure, you know, and the recruiting trail, I'm trying to get some things locked in first before I start getting all crazy. And make it, you know, want to make good, sound decisions with, with intent, not just uh, frivolous things, you know, decisions that just get made just because. So I think that that's really how I'm going to go about it, you know. Right now, like I said, locking in my staff and locking in, you know, trying to see if there's any RTC guys out there available, um, and then obviously getting on the recruiting trail and getting, uh, you know, some of my staff. You know, I just hired Keith Gavin and Michael Leitner staying, so I got two people on board and. You know, we'll, we'll get we'll hit the road, you know, running here soon. But, uh, you know, looking for a volunteer at this point. And so there's, you know, i got to put a couple pieces of the puzzle together first before we, you know, jump the gun. Lou Roselli in the Nike hot seat today, the new head coach of the Sooners of Oklahoma. A few moments left, Lou, and, and I've got to ask you, man, you, you walk from the Big Ten to the Big 12, and you walk into the situation with the historic matchup that is Bedlam 1 and Bedlam 2. Um, a, a very unique opportunity for cross-state rivals against you and Oklahoma State. What are your th uh, immediate thoughts on that uh, on that great and historic matchup? I, I think it's great to have the rivalries in wrestling like they do in other sports. It's 
it's what uh, wrestling needs. It's, it's a good thing. I think John would agree that it's good to have a, a counterpart that you can have a war with, you know, um, and be in a great match and get lots of fan support and people backing it. You know, I think that's what that's what wrestling needs. They need it needs to have these type of rivalries. You know, in Ohio State, Michigan, it, it's a, it's a good rivalry, and that's why it's, it's very storied. So I'm excited about it. I think it's good for wrestling. You know, it should be fun. Our guest today on the Nike Hot Seat has been Lou Roselli. We want to thank Micah Thompson for helping to facilitate this particular interview and this first interview of its kind as Lou has assumed the post of head coach of the Sooners. Lou, we thank you. We thank your family. Uh, surely our best to to uh, uh, your wife, uh, Amy, and, and of course, uh, Jordan, Ty, and Jackson as well. Congratulations. Uh, thank you. Appreciate it, Scott. Well, stay tuned, wrestling fans. We'll be back after the short time out. You're watching Takedown, powered by Nike. Stay tuned. to show you three great ways to make your home more comfortable. Install a hybrid solar home system, utilizing solar power in the day, battery power at night. Install a solar attic fan to reduce heat and moisture from your attic. And install a multi-layer reflective insulation blanket in your attic to reduce the cost of heating and cooling. Conserve energy, save money, protect the environment with Yellow Blue Ecotech. Learn more ways at yellowbluetech.com. Speed the Sauce Man here. While sauces and seasons are our business, food is our passion. And we've been helping make your favorite foods taste better for years. Try our wings and things hot sauce and everything from chicken wings to your morning eggs. Use it in recipes like spicy chicken noodle dinner, party dip, and buffalo chicken pizza. It's not only delicious, but it's award winning too. Wings and Things recently earned first place honors in the hot sauce category at the National Barbecue Association's Award of Excellence competition. Remember, smart cookies use cookies. Proudly made in the USA, Danmar offers incredible protection and customized gear. I'm Tony Ramos, NCAA champion and world team member. Take my word that Danmar Warrior headgear is the best. It's what I use. Look for my limited edition signature headgear at a retailer near you or online at danmarwarrior.com. I'm a world-class warrior and you can be one too with Danmar. Follow me on Twitter at T underscore Ram 133 or on my website, teamramos.co. Well, to be a winner on the mat or in life takes a lot more than just skill. Nobody knows this better than Mark Schwab, who spent years motivating teams and individuals to reach their full potential. Schwab has taken the lessons learned from a lifetime on the mat to form a new company called Opportunities to Succeed. Now, over the next few months, Coach Schwab will be joining the program to talk about the keys to cultivating personal success. What's way more important, and I think what a lot of people miss is, is what do I got to do to reach the goals? And that's where I take the time to write these behaviors down, you know, that make a big difference. They, they give you direction. They give you feedback. They give you support. And again, look at the words I'm using. Look at the power in what goals will do for you, what written goals will do for you when you put them down. I mean, it's just advantage after advantage after advantage. You start becoming crystal clear about what it is that you want. And you know, we tend to move towards things that we want and, and things that we work for. And when there's an investment there, you know, you see things a little more clear. You hold on just a little bit longer. You dig just a little bit deeper. You know, these goals, when, when we put it all out in front of us too, it just, it gives us so much more meaning in our days and in our behaviors. I mean, setting goals, writing goals down, and what I have to do to reach this goal is just, it, it's, it's, 
to me, it's a, it's a fundamental. It's as important as, as stance. You know, uh, it doesn't take much time. You know, people say, I don't have time. That's crap. Everybody has time. You have time to do what you want to do. That's about what the bottom line. I can only think of a couple of days in my life where I actually didn't have time to do something. I mean, we will do what's important to us, you know, and, and it ha that has to be something that's that important to you. For example, just taking 10 minutes a day to do something different or on top of what you're already doing. You know, 10 minutes a day to look at your goals and, and visualize your goals and keep up on the steps and the adjustments that you have to make and just kind of rehearsing that victory and just, you know, continuing to, to chip away to that statue of victory. You can find more information on opportunities to succeed or how to book Coach Schwab for a speaking engagement. Check out the Facebook page and email address you see on your screen. A special shout out to our buddy Coach Schwab and the Missouri Network and all the guests that have been joining us on the program today. For breaking wrestling news, interviews, and more, go to TakedownWrestle.com. And don't forget to tune in this Saturday for the longest running wrestling radio show on the planet. For all of us here at Takedown, I'm Scott Casper, and we'll talk to you next week.